Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Monarch Gaming back again with another video. And in this NFL Street 2 video, we're going over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers roster. So, the first guy we got is Mike Allstott. Um, decent running back, uh, really good run power, but not great speed. I definitely wouldn't pick him up on a pickup game, but he is a pretty good running back for this team. Rondé Barber, uh, one of the best defensive backs in the game. So we got pretty good speed, jumping, coverage, really everything you want except for catching. Not great catching, but really good coverage DB if you need one. Then we got Derek Brooks, one of the best linebackers in the game. The Buccaneers had a really good defense at this time. Um, Really good speed for linebacker, tackling, jumping, and coverage. Uh, those are all great for a linebacker at this time. And then we got Tim Brown, a really good receiver at this time as well. Um, I would rather have some other receivers than this guy on a pickup game, but um, probably top 10 receiver in the game in Tim Brown. Uh, then we got Joey Galloway. Um, as a receiver, let's look at the difference here. Uh, Joe Galloway actually has um, much higher speed, so I take that back. I would rather have Joey Galloway on uh, my pickup team because of the, that higher speed, uh, higher jumping. Uh, he doesn't have as good of catching, um, but that really doesn't matter. If you're uh, running the right plays and getting open. And then we've got Charlie Garner. Uh, looks like a decent running back. Uh, definitely take him on this team. You might need to take him on this team because he just looks like a decent running back. I mean, uh, decent speed, offensive moves. Uh, next highest is jumping, catching, run power. So his run power is not great. But he looks more like a speed running back than anything else. Then we got Ian Gold, a linebacker. Um, not the greatest linebacker, but we got Derek Brooks anyway, so you don't really need this guy at all. Uh, then we got Brad Johnson. Um, and this is where we get back to the quarterbacks with lower speed. Um, he has decent passing. Um, and then the next test skill is coverage. But it's all really low after passing. He's not really good for much else. Then we got uh, Anthony McFarland. Decent speed for a defensive lineman. Um, tackling and defensive moves, which you would expect from a defensive lineman. Um, but pretty, pretty decent. Uh, definitely not up to this guy's level, Simeon Rice. The speed is just amazing. Probably one of the top five defensive linemen in the game. Look at that speed. That's just crazy for a de defensive lineman. Plus 6'5". Uh, lean 268. That's just uh, a great player right there. And then we got Dwight Smith. Defensive back. Um, really good speed. Not really good, but decent speed, offensive moves, jumping, um, good coverage DB. Then we've got Todd Stussy. Um, I wouldn't take this guy because we got uh, two decent defensive linemen here, so I wouldn't even worry about taking this guy because his speed is so low. Um, and that's going to be it for this video. If you like this video, make sure you like it, and I'll see everyone next time.